Do you love making gifts for those you love the most? Nothing says I love you quite like a handmade gift, but sometimes we need those gifts to be quick and easy to sew. Hello, I'm Allie, literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. Today, I will show you five quick sew ideas for practical and useful gifts that you can sew for your loved ones. Let's go sew. Contoured Bull Cozies. On your batting, draw four lines, corner to corner and center to center. On each of your center lines, mark two inches from the edge and one inch to each side. Draw lines connecting the three marks to create dart lines. Join one of the cotton fabric squares with the batting, wrong sides together. Sew the straight four lines first, then sew the darts. A straight stitch with a medium length will give a nice quilted look and keep the batting in place. Match up the dart marks along the edge and clip together. You will sew from the outer edge along the angled line. Be sure to sew off of the edge. Cut off the wedge 1 8 inch away from the edge and clip the fold. Repeat for the second set. Then clip both sides together, right sides facing. Line up the darts first and then the four corners. Sew around three and a half sides, leaving an opening for turning. Use a one quarter inch seam allowance. Clip your corners and dart centers. Reach in through the opening and turn right sides out. Tuck in the edges of the opening and clip in place. Then top stitch 1 8 inch around the entire edge. Hanging hand towels. Either cut off the top edge of the towel or hem three sides of the terry cloth. Take the cotton fabric right sides together, fold in half on the short side, mark an angle across the corner edge, then cut off. Sew along the sides and angled bottom. Leave the top open. Clip the corners, then turn right sides out. Using a loose stitch, gather the top end of the towel. Stay stitched to lock in place. Attach the gathered edge of the towel to the outside of the topper. Mm -hmm. 
Sew from the inside of the topper to secure the towel in place. Fold the opposite edge of the topper over, tuck inside and cover the edge of the towel. This should fully enclose the towel and the raw edges of the topper. Top stitch closed and around all the other edges. Fold over the topper to meet the edge of the towel. Install your snaps according to the manufacturer's instructions. You can choose to use buttons as well. Pot holder with grip pockets. Right sides out, baste together two of the smaller rectangles, sandwiching the cotton batting between. Repeat for the remaining rectangles and 8 inch squares. This step is optional, but to give a quilted look, draw diagonal lines one inch apart and crisscross, then top stitch along the lines. Do this for all three parts. Add bias tape to the edges of the rectangles that will be in the center. Start with basting the raw edge of the bias to the raw edge of the rectangle. Then fold over the edge and top stitch in place. Clip your pieces in place with the right sides out, then baste them together. Using the same method as before, attach the bias tape to the outer edge of the pot holder. At the corners, make sure to give a little room for folding. This will help you fold over. Clip the corners before folding the bias tape over the edge. At the corners, fold the edges in at an angle to help reduce the bulk. Top stitch around the edge of the bias tape. Steering wheel cover. Measure the outside circumference of the steering wheel, if possible. Fold the long sides over one quarter inch and press. Fold over again one quarter inch and press. Top stitch the elastic casing closed. Using a bodkin or safety pin, insert the elastic into the casing along the edges. Even out the fabric along the elastic and secure the ends with a stay stitch. Sew the ends together, then fold over twice to enclose and top stitch down.
Freehand Embroidered Cards After you've drawn out your design, stitch over the top. Change threads as needed. This project is actually inspired by Emma at Studio 77. I'll leave the link in the description below for you to check them out, but Emma's is a little bit cuter than mine. Unlike Emma's, I'm using cardstock and a triple straight stitch. I probably should have made this design a little larger, but it got the job done. Cut out your design, add some double-sided tape, and add to your card. All done! Let me know in the comments which one you're going to make first and who you're going to give it to. If you like these projects, please give this video a thumbs up. I look forward to providing you with even more inspirational goodness. How about you pop on over here and check out some more gift giving ideas. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. Be sure to ring the bell because then you'll be notified every time there's a new video uploaded. We'll see you next time!